Ding. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> a good warm-up conversation. <laughs> Uh, there goes YouTube. Uh, <laughs> oh, for the love uh, of God. Is YouTube there? Yes. Hi, YouTube. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, let me turn this. Oh, God, it's warm. <laughs> I, God bless air conditioning. Like, for real. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess the... Twitch, it's running its commercial on the, on the thing first before I get to look at it. Oh, yay. That means we make what? Uh, Minimum quota for not being fucking wiped out of this or what? No, I was looking the other day. Uh, uh, this was, what, four weeks ago? And I think in ads we made 12 cents. Dude, I'm so buying a Veyron. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a keychain for now, but would it? Well, first you have to buy that stupid watch. Oh yeah, so I can tell time where I'm flying for the first. What is it? Twenty minutes that it can go with the top speed before you run out of gas, which is about seven minutes before the tires will give up. Oh yeah, that's that's insane. Insane in the membrane. Uh, I see people want us to stay on YouTube. Well, uh, we're on YouTube for now, or, or we can make this our uh, one of the month that stays up on YouTube, because uh, otherwise people come to Twitch. Yeah. Where we'll all be Team Brendan again. <laughs> Team Brendan. <laughs> if I feel bad for the guy after the show, but I'm like. They thought about it and like, in fact, we totally just Biden that election. <laughs> just Biden the shit out of it. So, and I didn't anticipate such backfire, dude, to be honest, that uh, the voting is, <laughs> is so corrupt. <laughs> well, now we have personal uh, experience with fucking voting. <laughs> oh, I guess being on the other side of it, because I still do vote, <laughs> but... <laughs> Oh fuck, that's funny. But I think it's for the better of it. Evening, uh, uh, Prestige Great, is uh, you alive again? Hey, but yeah. Did you make it? Heavy night. Well, I guess of sobbing afterwards, right? Or yeah. Were for, or were you rooting for Italy? Uh, I doubt it. Because <laughs> oh, they got good pizza. There's Tigris, the one that uh, muddles our voting system. <laughs> the fucking VPN king. <laughs> oh, man. So what are you drinking, Prestige, today? Uh, Alcazetzers on the rocks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's that pink uh, stuff? pepto -Bismol. Oh, yeah. So you don't oh, have dude, that... That'll make a maggot gag. That's fucking <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> At least you won't have any heartburn from, from all the alcohol. But that's like drinking pink paint with chalk flavor to it. And I don't even, it's just disgusting. Yeah. Avian's good. I'm a Peria guy. I don't know. Ever since the freaking accident, I just drink bubbled water or what is it? Sparkling water, you guys call it? Uh, yeah, this, yeah. Don't, this, is, this is, that's terrible news. I mean, it's, ac well. it's actually that pink. Yeah, yeah, there's no bullshit about it. Like, you can see it on the road, like, high fluorescent paint. Like, it's... <laughs> it, it don't come out the same way, but... Uh... Well, you hope. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't have that in Europe, do you? Pepto yeah, you do, but it's not that common. I think one of the reasons why all that shit is not that common is because Europe is not as... Uh... Heavy on promoting drugs. For, for anything, really. Like, if you have a, a very bad headache, you go, how about an aspirin? And that's like, ooh, an aspirin. Just smoke some weed or something. Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> that's the Amsterdam way, I guess. Yeah. I'm yeah. happy then I, I don't have migraines anymore and headaches and shit, which I had uh, quite a bit of them after the crash, but I guess it's to be expected. But now I'm good. 
Now, if I have a headache, it's very likely to be self-induced. <laughs> From all the Evian you're drinking. Yeah. <laughs> Drink so much water that you don't have any nutrients inside you anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's fucking crazy that some people actually do that, eh? Uh, yeah. Oh. I don't drink that much water. That's that's insane. I drink enough to like mitigate the uh, bourbonage when I bourbon. <laughs> that's about it. Fucking packed up this small. It's disgusting. It, it looks so chemical. It, but of course it is because it is fucking chemical, dude. I don't even know what they make. Where do you get a fucking substance that naturally looks like that? You don't. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, uh, like pink icing and you water it down or something. Speaking of icing and ice cream, they started making, well, they'd always do in uh, every summer that little Luke's fucking grocery store thing, whatever there is. Mm hmm. They make the charcoal ice cream black as shit. Like, it's fucking black. It's weird. But it, it, I don't... Well, charcoal is not actually not that bad for you. It's, uh, it's insane. I mean, it's basically a, a natural filter. I mean, I'm not saying uh, go eat a bunch of uh, leftover <laughs> barbecue <laughs> charcoal. They're suckling on my freaking... Stedler pencil refills and shit. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I've never tried it. I'm, I'm going to give it a shot. I also want to shoot this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Can't upload the program into it, man, for the life of me. I don't know what the fuck. Just can't update the thing. And I don't understand how that happens in the remotes. Like... It's not even the remote. I think the problem is the software. Uh, like the windows changes or the drivers change or some fucking thing changes and it doesn't work anymore. I wouldn't be surprised. Did you actually go to this uh, thing last night? Or was it yesterday? Or... Oh, the stampede? No, I just heard it. I was having a cigar at 11 o'clock. Yeah, they fucking go crazy. Yeah, there's like, what, seven people in there all wearing fucking masks. Yeah. Uh -huh. For these guys doing the stupid little uh, ride thing. The kid don't give a fuck. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, so sad. Like, is that only, oh, yeah, it's Calgary events. Well, they said that they're gonna only have fireworks one night, and so far every fucking night is like literally they just light it up. Which I have no complaints, but. Can you see it from your balcony? No, I can hear it. I saw the Canada Day, which was directly like that was you couldn't ask for a better view unless you stood on the fucking hill a kilometer and a half up from me. Hmm. Evening that's Don. That's where they were shooting it from. Hey Don. But yeah, this is uh this is typical this is a part of the grandstand show, I believe. And I don't know if the grandstand show is working. I wonder where the fuck they parked all the uh, the roadies and stuff, because like all these places are like they got repurposed during COVID. It doesn't look that busy for that many fireworks. Well, that's what I'm saying, because like they all have uh, fucking digital lineups and everybody's scared shitless to go there. And quite honestly, I've been in Calgary for 22 years, like. I'm been there, done that, got the t-shirt, dude. I puked on my shoes. I fucking slept in the bushes, and I fucking done it all, man. I've done it all, and yeah, I'm good with that. And there's the, is that yeah, it's Calgary as well. <laughs> fucking Park Plus sign just gives it away. Well, the airsoft shops definitely made some money off of colored smoke bombs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, lots of Italians. I had no idea there were that many Italians in Calgary. Dude, where I live is basically like the, it's an old Italy corner. Like the bridge line is where the Italians were. And then across the bridge where the Chinese would live, right? And then the Chinatown, like, mm -hmm. Chinese like to be close to the river. I don't know why. They just like it wet, I guess. 
Oh, you need water to make rice. <laughs> oh, that's right. Where the fuck is that, I wonder? It's out of downtown. By the looks of it, that's got to be... Oh, that's a 17th Avenue. But that's way too high up of downtown for this kind of shit to be going down. Oh, look, no masks, no nothing now, eh? Like, it's fucking who cares? <laughs> well, when you're happy, it doesn't discriminate anymore. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Yeah, hell. pretty much uh, sums up the football fans, I guess, uh, life. But, uh, yeah, the fireworks, that's just until Sunday of next week. It's going to be every night, I think. And that fucking Telus Tower <laughs> thing, like, look how many dead elements are in it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then possibly two up here. <laughs> but that's like three, uh, like two floors or or one floor or, or or three floors in a row. Like if you look at like the the for per amount of pixel, like that is, it's and the rent is three thousand bucks for a five hundred square foot apartment, if I'm not mistaken. Bloody hell. It is, it is unfucking believable how much money they're asking for living in that building. Is it a nice building or? I've never been. Apparently, it's supposed to be the most modern one, but based on the fact that you're already missing dead pixels all over the motherfucker, there's some wrong. Like, you know, how good is it? And also, like, soffits are missing on the last three floors at the top. Like, you can see that they're still exposed, whatever, Tyvek and shit. And I'm just looking like, come on, guys, like, you know, you already took the fucking cranes down and all that jazz, and then this is not finished, in my opinion. And I don't know how they're going to be finishing it with the, you know, the skyhook cranes that mm -hmm. you come out to do the windows with. Yeah. It's a weird shape of the building, too, because it kind of uh, twists. Calgary looks nice. Too bad it's in Canada. <laughs> yeah, and the tower <laughs> is just gay. It should be, like, they should just put it up more. Well, the, it was built to be double the height, but I don't think that they'll ever extend it. <laughs> oh fuck I drove by that actually <laughs> Calgary's a mess <laughs> how the hell do you manage you, you know this? what that is exact I drove by this old man fucking I know exactly this is in Bridgeland this is over the bridge zoo like coming off of the Englewood and they just put that in there and it's an old man. It's not an Asian woman. It's not a woman altogether. It's an old fart that fucking ran up a goddamn concrete barrier. Or as he probably put it, it came out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I I saw you had some uh some 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 weird stuff going on with with fucking snipers and shit. <laughs> Something Where good. is that? Oh, look, they got the SWAT team going on. Yeah, oh, that was station. Uh... Uh... Right now at Sirocco Station. Fuck, I don't even know where Sirocco Station is, dude. That's like fucking deep northeast Afghanistan part of the city. Wow, there's a person with a gun fucking in the train. Upper Baghdad, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea where that is, but I heard of it. Well, they 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 sent in the killdozer, basically. That thing is so beaten up already. Like they need a new one. <laughs> Don't give cops money for that. The... This is so un <laughs> so unnecessary. Well, it's a fucking shit show, right? But I think this is a uh, I think it was a drug dealer or some shit, and and there was some shooting going on. Oh, well, they're, and... they're putting snipers up on the fucking roof. What's the girl doing? Is it like a fucking building attendant? I want to see the best shot. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. Boo. <That's> right. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't be fucking that brave if it was a winter. No. No, That's you... so inconspicuous. I eh? just like running on or like just going on top of the roof. Oh, look, they're like moving in. Yeah, but he fell <laughs> or something or he dropped his gun. <laughs> Fuck. Uh... Drop his makeup kit. It's funny. Like, I saw this walk. Yeah, there he, he fell. <laughs> he tripped over the train tracks. 
fucking goof. <laughs> God. That's, you know, that's our finest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me run with this fucking rifle. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it's not a knife. <laughs> yeah. Well, it doesn't make it any better. I know, but... But, um... Yeah. I guess you've never been told to, to not run around with a, with a rifle in your hand, but the knife was definitely banned. Oh, yeah, this is BC. Oh, no, this is a storm from up above the clouds. That's sick. Yeah, yeah. That must have been either two days ago or last Friday. I don't remember when, but that was unbelievable shit show going down. Last Friday, my buddy lost two walls on his house. Well, siding walls. I just got beaten the fuck out of. Well, after the siding. Uh... Well, he's going to put hardy board. That's what he decided. Like, just fucking it's Will the hardy fireproof. board survive? Oh, yeah. Like that hail as well? Yeah. It's built for that. Oh, like, okay. your insurance actually goes down. Wait, too. so it's like... Well, surely it must, must be like five-eighths of an inch thick. It is expensive, though, too. Yeah, no, it's it's got some girth to it, like a centimeter and a half, almost two centimeters. So, but yeah, this was this was fun times. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense if all the siding is bloody plastic that it doesn't survive the enormous hail. Oh, it's shit, dude! Like you lean on it and it bends. <laughs> it just... However, many people lived uh, or live in uh, uh, North American. Uh, buildings and they can relate to it. Oh it's yeah, bear. I've been in North America quite often. Yeah, but, uh... yeah you know how it is. <laughs> Stock is good and hardy board is good. That's basically it. Yeah, corrugated steel isn't too bad, especially the newer uh, galvanized stuff that you can also like sort of plasti dip. That or like depends, I guess, on the budget of the house. I would do a or like more or less, it's more or less a commercial building, but a Luca bond. Which is the siding that gas stations are built out of? Mm -hmm. It's a aluminium polymer and aluminium sandwich. My dad used to work with it for years back in when we first moved to Canada. That's a nice shot. Where's that from? That's gotta be from a fucking plane. But that is above. That's northwest. That's northwest. The bottom left, there's... I'm amazed safe. that you, in Canada that housing is so fucking expensive when there is so much room. Right? Like, Canada is about the size of the US with, like, 10% of the people. What I don't understand is they're building all these fucking condos and they're asking, like, astronomical money for rent. And I don't think there's even enough people in this city to occupy all that. We have... Downtown has 27% occupancy right now, or vacancy, uh, vacancy when, it comes to the commercial, yeah. when it comes to the commercial spots. So like, they're, like they're talking about converting some of these high-rise buildings into, uh, what is it, uh, not the low budget, uh, assisted living. <laughs> well, that's, yeah, you get a lot more money for that than you do for regular apartments. And with the assisted living, they can basically get away with murder of not having balconies and shit. Because, like, you know, like you're paying fuck all for living. Yeah, here be, be you don't want to granny do. to fall over. <laughs> that's right. And, and or, or kids or whatever. So that's it. It's just air conditioned. Cubicles become houses now or homes or apartments, I guess. But I, I it's was... a pretty city. I like the yeah. city. Yeah, just too bad it's in Canada. <laughs> I mean, it should really be its own country. Uh, Alberta? But, yeah, they talked yeah. about it for a while, just to separate from all the shit. I think that if they did, the the, the, the East would be fucked, because all the reparation payments would uh, stop coming in, and that's billions of dollars a year that we push into the coffers. Yeah, uh, I didn't mention this yesterday, because I didn't <coughs> see it, but I sent this in a screenshot. Uh, 18s are uh, 6,250 now here. 90s are 85 grand. Fuck. And they went up by what? Seven and a half. 
Holy shit. And 30, uh, 50s went up from 30 to 35. That was just recent? Yesterday, I guess, or over the weekend. Because last week when we were looking uh, during the show, it wasn't this much yet. No, it wasn't. Holy fuck. I'm glad that I got my 90s when I got them. Yeah, I'm glad I got my 50s when I got them. <laughs> they're, they're nearly... Well, they're more than 10 grand more than what I paid for them when I got them. <laughs> That's one thing that's always been true for b and that the, the speakers do appreciate in value, <laughs> unlike other companies' electronics. You always... <clears throat> <clears throat> well, it is a weird situation, return. but... With but like even put it this way, like lap fives that I got here, they're I'm pointing at the ninth because that's all you can see. But there's there's the fives. So those guys are from two thousand four, five maybe at the or or maybe even three. Like they're very 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 early models. And yeah, I've put fucking money in to rebuild them, but you can still get a decent chunk of money out of them, out of them back. Like, I can still sell these speakers for 10 to 12 grand. And and not feel bad about it. Nines, I don't know. I do want to get rid of these fucking nines. Let's see. 20s or 10 Gs? Yeah, well, they're... I think they're uh, basically uh, EOL, more or less. Mm Mm-hmm. Because what's That's the point a... of keeping these in the in the program when you have twenty eights? There is none. No. I wonder what the color of those is. It's a different different color. They they updated Black, the color. White, mode. forged iron gray. That's forged iron gray. Yeah. Hmm. Forged iron gray looks sweet. Yeah, they look better than the black. Mm-hmm. The white is a bit. Uh, You'll see into the grills over time. That's the only downfall of these speakers. Any speakers with white grills, really, other than 90s. But 90s yellow around the motherfuckers, where they glue the shit, which sucks. Yeah. I mean, uh, the stage is a lot more than when I bought mine as well. 1,600 euros now, holy cow. I mean, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was 1,250 for the black and aloe version. Was it? I think so. Let me see if I can find an old article. Yeah, that's crazy. But then again, like I guess the, the inflation of the money and everything else, like plus inaccessibility of anything to make anything, will drive shit up in price. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, twelve hundred and fifty pounds. It says being on uh, what? So what is it in euros then? Uh, that was probably fifteen hundred or fourteen hundred. Brandon's stage is still eighteen ninety nine US. Let's see what they want for it on. Uh, on Canada website, or or what do I get for what uh, shop now? What is it gonna put me to when I have fucking headphones? Obviously, speakers. This stage, where are you, stage? It was uh, seventeen hundred and fifty USD for the longest time. And now it's nineteen hundred USD after. Yeah, for me it's twenty four hundred dollars. April or so. Ah, oh, Sandy so said they were thirteen fifty euro. He thinks. Yeah, I thought so too. I thought I thought they were like twelve fifty, thirteen fifty, something like that. If you're bored, Sandy, you can always join. You're welcome to join. Be a sound stage. Twenty three ninety nine. Yep, that's what the that's what the retail of it is. <laughs> that's just, crazy that they went up like that. Well, one thing I noticed here is that the second hand market is totally empty. 
now all of a sudden like the only things available uh are well the newest thing is probably 20 and a 5 but a uh, mark 120 mm -hmm. well obviously the used market would be freaking drained out if there's nothing to even buy from the new stock really right if you don't have the option yeah but uh, for the longest time you had like a set of 50s every other month or so second hand uh, really yeah well or every other month something like that but I bet you those will go up in price as well oh yeah I'm fucking fan on here too. Is it loud? Can you hear this? Right on. What am I supposed to hear? A fan. Oh. I just want to push the fucking air around a little bit here. I see your reflex side. Uh... Oh, yeah. <laughs> on, on the box. <laughs> yeah, and there's a grenade launcher beside it. <laughs> what is that? EOTech? Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's the faker. I want to buy an uh, actual real one, but they don't have them in stock. But this one's built pretty... Like, it's actually metal. Like, but the Halo side doesn't really work to my likings. Yeah. And I like the fact that it's uh, AAA batteries, so you can actually change them, because those stupid short ones have those really expensive uh, really expensive batteries, and I'm not a fan. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it, it's still, you know what, it holds its dot. That's all I really care. I have a red dot ACOG for paintball. No magnification, obviously, because, mm -hmm. I mean, it's paintball. <laughs> That's a 511, I believe. Or 512, I forget. Dude, I've had it for so long. Uh, yeah, it's 512, is what it is. 512 in 10. But, uh, yeah, I ordered fucking trigger parts. Uh, I ordered the entire new internals for the, for the SCAR. So I am so looking forward to be shooting that shit. I popped it in here a couple times because like to figure out what the what, what's wrong with it. It uh -huh. is fucking loud. Wow! Like the gas blowback <laughs> and the, the whole recoil of it is just, it's awesome. Awesome. I'd never heard of those. The Hollow Sun uh, five twelve. Uh, five twelve C, I guess. See the images. Oh, interesting. I've never seen one like that. Oh, those. What's the biggest difference? Yeah, what's the difference between them? They look pretty. They look pretty slick. Probably that they're not a big name like EOTech, and therefore uh, do the same job quite similarly <laughs> for like half the price. Yeah, but there's got to be. Well, from what I talked to the guys, that the EOTech. Especially in our conditions, at, 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 at severe weather extremes, it moves the mill dot. It uh, the temperature affects it, and it moves it by one or two mill dots, depends on how how uh, cold it is, and it really varies. Also, does it matter if you have uh, over you a one MOA gun? Well, no, not on this, but like on on actual rifles and shit. Like, it, yeah, yeah, it, sure, but like it affects on this stuff. Fuck no, man. Who cares? Like this, the BBs fly within the general vicinity, right? <laughs> but I mean, I want to bet that <laughs> most guns uh, are like three to four MOA if you're uh, lucky. I mean, you can get one MOA guns, but they're quite expensive compared to the generic ones. Yeah. Like, uh, was it to, to get to military standard quality six MOA is good enough? Well, yeah, but also the proximity of your engagement is quite close too, right? If yeah, but that's six it. MOA at a hundred yards. That's like, uh, what is it that's over six inches off of where you're actually aiming? <laughs> well, but you gotta work around it. <laughs> Six inches. It's not really that tragic if the if you're if you're going for a center mass shot, but then you're more or less going for body armor at that point. And I guess yeah, you can correct the first shot or second shot for the first one, but then by then they are very well fucking aware. Shit's flying by their heads. 
So 19's up by 20% uh, here. I get a third for him. In the room or Kef. I don't know if the Kef. Uh, yeah, sub is a sub, I guess. It's just for me, if I'm doing the whole house in BNO, I wouldn't go like, you know, a, a cheaper sub or a different brand sub because then the whole interface is fucked up. And quite honestly, if you are going with the 19s, then it's a little different than a Lab 2, which has active crossovers built into it. That looks uh, very retro and fucked up to me. I guess I it works. I... You have some control over it. Well, you have control over the 19 as well on the bottom. Like, there are dials to, 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 to accommodate. I, that's a weird-ass design. Holy mother of mercy. That is really weird design. I mean... It... I guess if you're not driving it with the bio vision, it doesn't matter that much. But no, to me it looks like uh, some sort of an appliance. Yeah, kind of does. Looks like, uh, like your laundry basket fell over. <laughs> I just I don't know what to think of it, like or what to make out of it as a shape. It's a very interesting uh, shape, but. Uh, I don't understand why they're only using so little surface area for the base driver. Like you could have put a bigger uh, or, or wider driver on it, in my opinion. And yeah, it's an acoustic balance principle, so that thing doesn't vibrate, but it fucking rocks. I'm sure. I don't know. I just don't. I'm not a. I'm not. I'm not sold on the design look of it. No. Plus, like, so, obviously, that is the back of it. So the cable management already is hideous, because then you have all that shit coming out, and then you have to kind of clamp it down and, and go. 25 centimeter cube? That's very small, then. <clears throat> so what do you got there? Power. EXP, I don't know, what is that, experience? Uh, expansion port. Uh, yeah, then you get the high pass filter, the phase, equalizer, room wall corner cabin and apartment. Interesting. Mode, manual, or LFE, okay. And the crossover. And volume. Oh, crossover ground. max. Uh, <laughs> well, it depends on what speakers you have it with. If you have tiny bookshelf speakers. Then in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the controls are that well, fuck. It's not hard to hide. They're impossible to hide at this point, if you think about it. Like yeah, but really they're on one side, it. and with the base drivers doing that, you're not supposed to put one towards you. No, I know that, but still, like, I don't know, like the the sex appeal of having a, a thin ass power link if needed, and uh, and a power cord going into a subwoofer is way more appealing to me, or have it wirelessly popped into it than. Uh, <clears throat> having something messy. <laughs> oh, John. <laughs> Where is John? I haven't seen him all. There he is. <laughs> but yeah, so click on the picture on the window where the thing is on the bottom of it all. Like, you'll see the... Uh, you'll see the... Uh... This is an old video. This is John from 2016. Holy fuck. That's just five years ago. Yeah. <laughs> He's got no gray hair yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too funny. I mean, I... Yeah, so the moment was fucking cool. Yeah, hey, uh, you can also line in uh, your 19 if you really want to. Yeah, and then you get the phases and all that shit up top. I mean, I must say, though... I like the look of the 19 a heck of a lot more. Oh, hell yeah. I think the 19 looks awesome. I mean, I also like that you have so many color options. Well, now there's, what, three chassis colors and uh, a, a ton of aluminum grills? Yeah, uh, you have aluminum, white, <laughs> black, and then the front faces in... Where is it? Rose 
co bronze. Uh, I think you even have brass, normal aluminium. There's rose gold, bronze, brass, silver, of course. I don't think there's anthracite. No. Yet. But yeah, like this has basically the same shit uh, as far as the controls that the other one did. But they're just much neater. In my onion. Sometimes I think, uh, like, I really like this. Should I get one for, like, in the back somewhere? <laughs> like, set it as a rear sub. <laughs> just for the fuck of it. It'll yeah. help the 18s for sure. But it also looks cool. And you could afford to do it with a fucking wireless. Well, because you don't have a choice. At no. this point of time. You had ran out of ports. <laughs> So I would have to, anyway. Yeah, you'd have to do it wireless. Visa, man. Uh, DW says, yes, I have stereo 19s in white with 17s. But the gray is nice, but a bit glossy. I well, agree. Yeah. You can also go for the black. I mean, that's a nice setup. I'm not entirely sure the 17s need dual subs. No. But that still would sound pretty slick. Yeah. I mean, you basically made two three-way speakers that way, I guess. <laughs> so how are you splitting the power link? Are you actually, did you get special cables? So one feeds only left channel and the other one feeds only the right channel for the subs? Cause, or what do you drive it with? Do you tell it through the... That's fucking hilarious. John and Richard. I... I'm thinking I'm going to repaint my Richard a different color. <laughs> Not skin tone. <laughs> I'll just make him like red. Hey, I this is my this. dick. <laughs> no, because that would be more like now the indigenous lives matter. I can't do black, obviously. Maybe I'll just go white. <laughs> or uh, Lego yellow. Or painted green. No, but then the iris get offended. Everybody gets offended. That's right. Can't do yellow because Chinese get offended. So Everybody gets offended. There's no end to the offense. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'll just... Uh, maybe I'll just... Uh, what's it called? Explore green growth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. That is the most terrible color that the VNO had uh, devised. That's the brass stone. I think so, yeah. With the black body. Because the rose gold has a 90th, uh, 90 on it for the anniversary. I mean, you can also make it glossy black if you wanted to. Where's that? That's custom, isn't it? Probably. Just take a sander to it and paint it. Not too hard. Mm. I'm still always this slightly jelly at this white setup this dude has. Yeah, that is sexy as hell. <laughs> and the, He's these got a white Biocom too as well. Yeah, and he has a... Is it a... BV10 or 11 up front with 12 threes, uh, also in white. Yeah, that would be a very, very early of a BioVision 11 because they kind of x the the white backs afterwards because they're like, holy fuck, there is just way too many SKUs that we have. So you can actually order the TV with black or white back cover. And then there was... Uh, that was a BioVision 10 that was coded and non-coded screen, which was another option. And then there was uh, a fabric cloth in like six different colors. And then they realized, dude, we need to just start packing this shit individually. Like you just make your screen thing and then floor stands and all the accessories were just packed extra. And that's how the BioVision 11 was, uh, was coming in. <clears throat> Also, they had a huge problem with fucking glass breaking. Yeah, yeah. On the, on the BioVision 11s when it first started shipping. 
and then and it got even worse for the North America, in my opinion, because uh, a lot of people talked about it, but to be you know, honest, doesn't admit to it. But when they changed uh, the company, there was a big fuck up though. Like the Hellman, I think that they've uh, somewhere in a warehouse over time, they fucking like just like forgotten and undelivered items. Uh-huh. It was almost a million dollars worth of forgotten B&O and they had to fucking destroy all of it because it was all you know illegal to resell <laughs> and there were a copious amounts of brand new never open 9000s Bio Center 2s TVs of uh, multiple eras Bio Vision 10 7s why do you have to destroy that that makes they no fucking sense had to, I don't know but they had to destroy all of it which was fucked up, and that's uh, that's when BNO just basically dropped Hellman, and Kuhn and Nagel uh, became the the company that uh, is uh, now shipping here. But the problem was that once Kuhn and Nagel brings it to Toronto or states, well, for us it would be Toronto. It was still be managed through the states, mm-hmm. but it comes to Toronto, and then everybody that has a hole in their ass and a pickup truck can fucking come over there and sign up for a contract to deliver the gear, and they had no idea and. Man, like the way that the stuff came in here was it was absolutely heartbreaking. And another thing that was fucking heartbreaking and frustrating even more was the fact that every time that that shit happened, you were another four to five weeks away from getting it replaced. Or at least at the at the best was three weeks. Oh, interesting. Uh, I don't know if uh, Mr. Allianz is watching or not, but he was showing, uh, was going to show that. Uh, let me see. I can make this a bit bigger, can't I? But apparently, you can, can get B and O and BMW. Yeah, you still can. That's an older model. Yeah. Yeah, that was back in the day when they had the acoustic lens pop out in the middle. I mean, if anybody's into uh, uh, B and O and whatnot. Uh, uh, there's a thread called Flasher B and O, which is quite a good thread, because, uh, like, this is Mr. Allianz's uh, living room, and holy fuck, the subwoofers! <laughs> Where is it? Oh, holy shit balls! Twenty-eight up front, threes, threes, threes. Was it B sound four? I like it. I don't like to be a sound for man. I think that was the stupidest fucking CD player they came up with. Like, I never well, I liked what, it either. I don't know what David Lewis was thinking, dude. Like, it's supposed to resemble the old timey monitor and shit. Cool, mm-hmm. but uh, fuck off. What's he's got for the screen? Is, good, is it a seven four fucking battery in there? Yeah. Yes, it is. It's fucking interesting. Oh, this isn't half of it. He uh, did uh, what you do with the hue. And uh Nice. Well dude, white walls, you can have any fucking color you want when you have the hue lights. I think it's uh Philips TV or something, probably with uh, uh Ambilight. I don't know how I feel about the Ambilight behind the television, man. I've never really watched things like that. That's some sort of a hue light on the side there. Yeah, uh, let's go one page back. Because uh, his house is uh, full of beer now. Come on, internet. Well, it's not my internet, but... Oh, it's not my internet, fuck. <laughs> this is Sandeep's uh, Oak Halo, which is regular or Halo. level. No, uh, sorry, yeah, level. I like it. Prestige, make me a walnut <laughs> cover, bro, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay you. I'm serious. I don't want it for free. I'll pay you. I want a fucking walnut cover for mine. Yeah. That looks so cool. Uh... Whatever currency, dude. I don't care. I got PayPal, biatch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh fuck! Uh, but uh, 
<laughs> you can get both in the new Hyundai Lonely Q. I would not know DW because I don't even, the only time that I see, that is a cool fucking cover. Yeah, now that you mentioned Bose, I think uh, Eric bought a Hyundai Iconic something or other. Yeah, and maybe he can... Uh, no, he actually, I think he actually put a down payment. <laughs> I think he actually put, put a down payment on it instead of the Passat he has. Eric, I don't know if somebody changes medication or some shit, but he's fucking going off the hook here. <laughs> <laughs> it's just weird fucking color uh, car choices. I love that cover, man. Oh, God, the Unicorn Biolab 8000s in red. Jesus Christ. They're so, like, out there. I'd love to have them in red color. I don't know where the fuck I would put them in here, but I would love I to I do have like those. them in red with the black. Mm-hmm. I had one lady that bought them in, uh, and put the covers to white. They also looked interesting. Uh, I have, it's cooled down again. I'm going to move that bloody fan. <laughs> <laughs> I like that too. I like the light. Lighting makes such a difference in the room. It's unbelievable. A lot of people don't realize that shit. And then when they come over, like even my place, when they come over and, and see the Philips Hue lights, how the changes colors and how it changes the mood in the, in the room. It's fucking sweet. Yeah, I think that uh, that Prestige, if you got, I think you, you, you got some potential business for the, the, the walnut level covers. Because given, like, seeing your work, not in person, but I've seen it on, on pictures from Mikey and close-ups that I guess it's... Uh, yeah, and on Skype in, and whatnot. <laughs> in better detail than what we can divulge here over the, uh, you know, uh, podcast. I don't doubt that the covers you make are going to be better quality than fucking what BNO comes up with. Have you ever thought about, uh, like, dabbling in uh, doing, like, actual shape wood tiles? Or no? Because that's something that I was also interested in, in Walnut, because I don't think BNO will ever come up with it. And quite honestly, I, I find theirs is a little too shiny for my liking. Mr. Allianz, if you're watching, I'm going to bully you until you come on and talk to Willie, especially about doing the whole fucking home. Because this is his, a bathroom with the, the hue and a TV. And... I like that. See, I don't... Uh... I understand the bathroom with the TV, and if I owned this place, I would probably hang that fucking V1 in my bathroom. I would. But, uh, yeah, this is cool. And I like your kitty cat if you're watching Mr. Allianz. <laughs> That's a good. Is the, is the shape tile on that list of yours? <laughs> Just wondering. I mean, I like your PC hanging on the wall as well. I think this is a thermal take case. Fully That's cool. Wa water cooled. <laughs> ROG logo uh, pointing down. S8 like uh, sub. I like it. Fuck. The video games and that would be sick. Yeah. <laughs> and a stage. I think you put your bed, uh, I mean bed, the TV's too low for the bed. I think this is a, a guest room. Yeah, guest room, it says here, up top. But I think the TV, I would have done the TV, uh, I would center the TV with the window at least. <laughs> you would hang the TV over the fireplace. <laughs> well, at this point, it's basically that height because you're going to fucking, at, at, at the level that it is right now, the, the bottom third of the TV is going to be your toes or blanket. When you're laying down. Or you have your neck fucking cocked like all together. See, this is the way to do it. Right there. Yeah, that's why the plebs get to lust after the master bedroom. <laughs> Fuck. I don't understand the pedestal for the Biolab 19, but okay. It gets nuttier. Yeah? Yeah. Because there's 12 twos in white in the back. Oh, Fuck. <laughs> so what does he drive it with I wonder I don't know it's gotta be a system 3 of some sort like this has gotta be his old yeah, collection yeah and there's a lab 2 underneath the bench as well Jesus lord <laughs> yeah that's OP as fuck 
Being in a nice uh, Biocenti. I love that thing. Yeah. I still got two of them. I'm not going to sell neither of them. One I'm going to give to my mom and one. I love I these might. railings the almost more than the B&O, by the way. <laughs> like that sort of... Uh, railings, nice. Brushed. What is it? Sort of chrome nickel plated stuff. I like his taste. I really do. It's, yeah. it's really nice. Well, I knew you would with all the white here. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of inevitable. Mm -hmm. It's a little hangout area with the sound, with the sound one there or sound two. Where's the beautiful sound one? What is that? Oh, that's the coffee machine. Coffee is uh, very important. Yeah. I love the cleanliness of your garage as well. Mm hmm. With the uh, BSM 35. OCD. Yeah, that's, that was probably, that's exactly what that purchase means. <laughs> 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 this is a piece of shit I bought. It looked cool. The man, the you know what the the fabrication and 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 the whole the precision of that aluminium fucking box that they've made was superb. Like you could cut the fuck out of your hand on the edge of it. But uh, when it came to sound, it sounded exactly like the Bio Sound or Bio Lab 3500 back in the era when the 3500 was cool comparatively to all the other speakers, right? Mm -hmm. That you anticipated way more out of it, but you still, it's only one six thousand with two tweeters. Is that still his house? Yep. Nice fifties. I, I told you it never ends. <laughs> But I'm surprised that for a B&O nutter, he doesn't really have that many B&O TVs. It's just all random. None, it seems. Yeah, it's uh, it's just speakers. Then again, he has 6.1.4 Atmos. Hmm. With earthquake shakers on whatever he's sitting on. And those That's pretty cool. Enormous subs. <laughs> wonder how the turntable plays when all that shit is going on around it probably isn't it probably plays directly into the 50s only yeah yeah i like it i like your uh cat whatever thing over here behind the plant it's cool that it's got the planter to on it so it just conceals better Yeah, I just, I don't know. I would go with B&O TVs as well. Yeah, me too. But, I mean, if you put this much effort into it, I don't feel like I should be too judgy anymore. No. You clearly know what you're doing since your whole house is bloody covered in the shit. <laughs> I mean, if it works, it works. I wonder how it all works <clears throat> together. Like, honestly, like, I would like to know the setup. Does he have, like, is it all linked together in some way? Or is, is it each room more or less somewhat independent or is it all driven through bio system threes because that's what it seems like it is to me i mean the 9000 is basically done perfectly with everything in the wall mm -hmm. that's what it's supposed to look like yeah it, it, that's a it's a fucking decent ass job man on all of it i just want to know if it's a master link or a or a, it, it's got to be a master link ran system like, fuck all the new speakers. Well, if he has Atmos, it's probably a receiver of another brand. Yeah, but then... I just don't see how you tie in a 9000 into it, other than you have a fucking... Uh, uh, a, a, a power link. Uh, yeah. Not a power link, but the... the, the what is it? The, the power link plug with the fake. And then you can just... Uh, Use your remote, and then the SPDIF goes out into the receiver, and then you just listen to your uh, CDs and through the digital output of the 9000. Eric, if you're watching, he also went from 20s to 50s, so do the same. <laughs> like this was the before picture, where he now mm has -hmm. 50s. 50s are so much more bulkier, holy fuck. But yeah, it looks hot. It looks really hot. 
Is that a different fabric on the level? Because it looks way lighter than mine. No, I think it's directly in sunlight. Mm. Like, look at how bloody white the twenties are. Oh, it's got the Oliver Alto. I don't know why people don't take the fucking stickers off these lamp vases. So gay. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Well, I guess you're one of them that doesn't peel your shit either. <laughs> no. Some, some wrong with your old Europeans there. My grandpa fucking saran wrap in his fucking remote control. TV's like 75 years old and uh, and, and the remote is pristine. <laughs> <laughs> and then he would cover it for the night too. It was yeah. funny. I wonder what the M5 is doing there really. Showing off. Yeah. All the three in there are just to show that they are there, in my opinion. But I don't know how... It, yeah, I would love to know how it's all interfaced together. Because I'm guessing it's Masterlink and or... Yeah, Mr. or Mrs. Or... Allianz, uh, come and talk to us in the podcast. Uh, I know you said uh, you don't want to for right now. And I'm going to bully you into coming on. <laughs> yeah, you should. You should You should definitely come in and talk you, about you it. You can wear a fake mustache if you want, or a beard. I mean, Henrik comes in disguise every week. That's right. <laughs> I mean, we wouldn't recognize him without a beard. <laughs> so, yeah, I, should, I think you should come on and uh, talk about it, because that is a very nice house. How many bedrooms is that? Four or five? Three, I think. Or three? Two or three. No, it's a very well, uh, very well uh, done job and project. Lots of hue lights, man. Fucking programming itself would just be shiitake mushrooms. I mean, I'm still amazed that this is basically the 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 second sort of living room <laughs> area. Mm -hmm. It's a it looks beautiful, but I don't know how acoustically bright this room would be. It looks the uh, well. He, he had a picture on another thread where he literally was going around the room with like uh, pro audio gear to measure all the room responses and tune everything accordingly. Okay. So then it can be a BNO uh, system. Well, I'm not sure how exactly he was comparing the internal arc of the 28s to. Uh, like pro software and whatnot. Oh, okay. Yeah, but that's still it's in its infancy stages, in my opinion. If the twenty eights get a new software update boost, and like they're talking about, that maybe the possibility of having an extended microphone out. Yeah. Then it's gonna change fucking a lot. That's gonna be a game changer for sure. But uh, I mean, just this amount of subs here, like. Holy fuck. That's OP as fuck. It's too much. Whew. Either you don't live near neighbors at all, <laughs> or you really like your base. Or just don't give a fuck about your neighbors. That's another story, too. Yeah. It's your own house, right? But I love the yeah how everything is done. It's properly managed cable and everything. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's uh, actually kind of silly how properly managed it is. <laughs> like, if anything ever goes... Uh, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> yeah. So, I do like that. The lot of Philip Hughes. See, for me, like, I guess Philip Hugh has a limitation if you're, uh, well, there's two things, I guess, that are limiting. For me, first of all, I'm running a Lutron lighting system. So, everything in my house dims based off of the repeater bean, telling everything to dim and controlling it that way, all the macros or seems as if Lutron calls it it's done through that I tried to do this with the Hughes the only way to control it then is via gateway but then I don't even need the Lutron lighting control the problem also with it is uh, in Lutron you can do up to 150 devices on one repeater you can do only 50 lights on one of those Philips Hughes and I don't know how that fucking gets all uh Pro, how, I don't know. Like I, I find that that's a little messy, but you can still program it. Obviously, it's clean. Like you've got to have a, some sort of a control four system or a gateway or something. I in can't. There fucking... uh, uh, this is an expired ad, and I can't enhance it anymore. But these are fifties with skinny play covers, and look at the fucking base drivers next to it. There's four of them. 
that's just uh, that's just idiocy, man. In my opinion, that's crazy. I mean, I like that your whole room is on a, or your TV and whatnot is on a plateau, and your ceiling is even done, and the curtains and. That's fucked up, though, man. I don't understand those subwoofers there. Like, how deaf are you for bass? Jesus Lord. Especially with 50s aren't exactly incapable of bass. Yeah. I mean, they shake my place, quite literally. I mean, Sandy, yeah, I Sandy I has a point where with the neon overload with your entire house like that, and I I do agree to, to a vast extent, because... I mean, how much do you spend on, like, Philips Hue when you have that many lights, that many bridges and all that? It's like, holy fuck, that's a fortune. Mm. And, I mean, a few highlights here or there, sure. But, like, every light bulb? It's a bit much. Yeah, I didn't. I, I You know, honestly, I thought about doing it when I, when I, had, uh, when I had moved into this place. But I'm thinking, like, fuck. You know what? Why don't I just like I, I first night I light it all up, right? And look like fuck. There is no lighting under the, the 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 island, and I would like to do the lighting under the counter tops. Just and that's all there is. Like I don't need more. And no. quite honestly, the only reason why I went with the Philips Hue because the regular LED lights I couldn't match the fucking uh, uh, Calvin's properly to what those cheese bowl apartment uh, pot lights are. So I went with the hue lights, or the the you know the the tape lights, whatever the LEDs, and just stuck them underneath in a in a schluter, or extrusion per se as they call it, and with the polycarbonate lens to bend the light, so you don't have the fucking dots all over the the counter, uh, the wood of the back of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I just fucked around in dark and matched the color of the pot lights to the or uh, the match the color of the LEDs to the pot lights, and then just set that in the gateway and basically every time I press an LED button on the Lutron that just sends the command to reset all my hue lights into matching the the rest of the house. Other than that I very, very few and far in between times I change it from like red to blue or whatever color. I usually do it just for the fucking novelty of it when people come over. A little party trick more or less, but I don't that I wouldn't have a use case for that, I'm sorry. The newer light strips uh, are already with that stuff covered on them. Is that hue lights? That doesn't look yeah. like hue lights. Is it? Yeah, yeah Philips Hue. Philips dash hue dot com. <clears throat> Go to that one on the third on the right. That yeah, play gradient strip. What does it say? Ah, uh, this is specifically for behind the TV, apparently. Mm. So we I know, know Tigris has uh, been to illegal rave parties in Essex <laughs> because that's where he <laughs> knows those subwoofers from. <laughs> <laughs> But this, I, I don't know, I find it a little too much, like, this, and then, or when you switch on the sink, it's too much. Yeah, they got the diffusers already on top of them. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, but it's $229 for 55 inches of it. No, 55-inch TV, so oh. that is up, sideways, down. So how much would that be? That would be more than 55 inches. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, no, 75 inches, 280 bucks. That's hmm. 230 for 55. I don't know. I just, to me, like, it's a little OP. And and this, I think, is a fucking gimmick. I don't know how that would work with uh, BNO TV, like, if you slap that on the back of anything. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. How does it know how to do the color? There's probably HDMI in where where it reached the uh, reads the color uh, code. So it has to pass through. Yeah. I mean, there are systems where you stick a little sort of 
uh, tiny cameras on your screen, but those all suck because you'll have tiny cameras on like all the corners and the edges of your screen. <laughs> but oh, I don't think this, does, this is this is probably just pass through. Yeah, an HDMI sync box. There. Up to four HDMI connection devices, okay. Well, Sunday, you got a fucking BB12. It's really hard to put anything behind it uh, to, to backlight that, per se. I wouldn't mind a light behind the TV sometimes for when it's really dark, but I would like it to be static. I don't want this uh, fucking ravers party. No, no, I don't like that shit. I would have it. Well, that's what I like <coughs> about my apartment, because if I do want a little bit of light, I just leave the curtains open or blinds open a little bit, because I'm against the glass. I mean, I still have uh, one of the original hue bulbs here somewhere that you can manually do on the bulb. <laughs> oh, is that right? Yeah. That's funny. I mean, there was no control, no nothing. It's literally on and off, and then like a, 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 you have a like a volume dial, right? But it's all colors. <laughs> That's but the thing is, uh, it's fucking annoying because uh, it, it's. I think it's from like yellow to full on red. But if you're somewhere in between and you let your finger go, it goes to wherever like your finger uh, un sort of concaves from. So it's yeah. always going like, Bloop. oh fuck, no, not green. That other shade is yellow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's better to just have it on a iPad and navigate easily. I but, think you uh, uh, have to take some tolerance classes, Sunday, for uh, gaps. <laughs> yeah. Uh, your your gapless life is. Uh, I believe it's unnecessary too. Like I just I, I, again to each their own, but I don't, I don't like it. I wouldn't do it. I just wouldn't do it. So what are you going to do Sunday when your BB-12 dies and then you have to replace it with uh, something? Are you just going to fucking PL the panel directly on the back of the wall? Because <laughs> there is, if you go with like anything now, like the sinus mounts or whatever the fuck, right? Like they stick out like well, severely, yeah. I would say. They stick out severely. So... Uh... Sandeep's girlfriend cannot be uh, this woman or that woman because there's a gap. <laughs> there's gaps. <laughs> or this woman. It has to be her. <laughs> no gaps. <laughs> yeah, but that's... I don't know. I'll wait for b and to do a proper sound center. That's How long is that wait going to be? Years. Right? If even ever. Because if they do a proper <clears throat> sound center, like, you know, basically a, a HDMI pass-through with a DSSC engine in it, they're kind of, well, I don't know. Like it's, it's, it's not that they're going against their own market for the TVs, but uh, I think it would be a good idea to have for people that are projector-based because they don't really have a Bang & Olufsen solution right now. Well, the problem with the DSC board really also is is that it's kind of only LG compatible. Because can you imagine uh, B&O uh, making a, a sound center with what they have right now, and then you get to Sandeep, which says, oh, Panasonic TVs, and uh, B&O is like, nah, <laughs> LG only. And it's like, Why? Well, no, I don't. I don't think that they could be that brand specific because then, well, LG doesn't really make projectors, do they? They do. But they're not making projectors on the level that like some other uh, companies are, right? Or if you want, but to me, like, yeah, I'm same with you, Sunday. But just fucking, I'll just use LG. Like at the end of the day, if you're buying a DSSC board sound center, or whatever, right? Let's call it Bio System Five. 
and your previous shit died, you're buying a fucking TV as well. Then who's to say why not to get a to get a to get an LG instead of a Panasonic or Sony or Samsung or fucking Zenith or whatever else have you? But yeah, I think I believe that LG is the leader of the pack right now when it comes to technology, especially with uh, with a uh, OLED. LCDs have their place in time, of course, because the burning is almost non-existent. You have to really uh, try, try, try to get burnt in an LCD panel. Even OLED, you kind of have to, especially the newer ones. Is that right? They're more or less impervious to it now? Well, I've had mine for... When was it? Nearly two years. Nothing. Hmm. Yeah, and it's on constantly, more or less, at your place. Yes. Uh, yeah. It's, well, partially it's ambiance for like it's on now because it's on, and uh, mm-hmm. people get annoyed when it's fucking off. <laughs> <laughs> I have to have it on. So, See, I started my podcast with my TV always turned off, so nobody, nobody <laughs> can bitch. Now I just silently moved to another room, and everybody's finding a fucking everybody's okay with it so far. But. Uh, yeah, that's true that they do have the, the, the auto dimming on the static logos, which is good. I oh, think it's good. Especially for uh, crap channels like CNN, because obviously their logo is full on red, which is one of the worst colors to have on an OLED. Yeah. On any TV, for that matter. Like when it comes to plasmas, you're still burning the fuck out of it. Global news here, dickheads. They have the like logo that like fucking glows in the dark. For God's sakes, it's just seared into the bottom right corner of my mom's new BB9. Kind of hurts me to look at it, but she don't see it. Yeah, because she's watching the TV all the time. I mean the the what you call it? Uh, the the news channel or the government news channel here has one of these uh, logos, which is also nice and full on red. Oh my God. <laughs> which is really annoying like why I know it, it, you see it better and it's there's like a bunch of marketing behind it but you're ruining my TV with this nonsense <laughs> I wonder if some of these people don't really think about that at all probably not I, well why would they I guess it's a brand that they represent. They don't give a fuck about your goofy ass TV. No. I mean, also huh. they they pay probably millions of public money for marketing anyway. Then again, I wouldn't want them to because that means they'll spend it again. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's already terrible. Uh, I, I, so, what was it? I, I think I've told this before but there's a continuation on it so our uh, parliament here was going to be remodeled right Mm. and it's uh, it's a very old building it's a monument and uh, it's going to be expensive and they did a like a two year study into the building or something which cost them fucking quarter of what they could have spent on just starting the construction something like that like it was insane so the 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 build was going to cost 475 million euro fuck yeah so uh the the contractor starts and he pulls some stuff away and he finds antique carpets that weren't inventoried (laughs) so it's like what do we do well you can't walk over that with heavy equipment and whatnot and building dust and yada 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 so uh fuck and they're everywhere (laughs) And we just missed them. <laughs> so that added like 120 million euro. <laughs> because what? Na- it, well, it you have to make out? bridges over all the fucking carpet to paint and whatnot because you can't walk over it. Can you not just fucking cover the damn carpet with poly and fucking boards and poly? No, and because if it's and... heavy and it pushes through and it leaves roller marks and yada, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And etc etc and and uh, now they've decided that apparently the security isn't up to snuff so uh that added another 100 million 
And uh, now something happened last week where they want better internet. So now they're over 750 million euro. Holy shit, balls, and, man. And they, I don't think, haven't even started yet. <laughs> Why don't you just turn the fucking building down and start over? Well, because it's historic. Well, this is all going to take longer. Uh, so uh, the the secondary building there that's going to be the interim parliament has to be upgraded for a bunch of shit. So that's also more money. <laughs> Fucking politicians, man, just love spending people's money. Yeah, and you know what they absolutely love to say: the government will pay for this. And I'm thinking, where do the, does the government get their money from? Because as yeah, far as I know, we don't have any like, money okay, cool. presses. So I guess that's from me. <laughs> and I hate you guys. Scottish Parliament, 414 million. It was a bargain then, fucking right. Yeah, it was a bargain. Holy fuck. I mean, I bet you this isn't even the last price increase. Like, people are already talking in, in the sense of like, well, if we're done for under a billion, then I'll be happy. It's like... What? That's insane amount of money. And there's no fucking way that it costs that much. Like that's just their their margins are stupidly out of lunch, are like out to lunch. Yeah. Cuz everybody's making So some so some builder dude was saying like so if you go per square meter, right? Uh like new construction for the low end for like uh assisted living uh or a government subsidized rent and that sort of thing. It's been a, a thousand and fifteen hundred per square meter. Then, if you have a, a sort of middle class house that's between like two and, and two and a half grand, if you live basically like Allianz or something like that lives, you're somewhere in the region of three to four grand, maybe four and a half. So the no per square meter, as in uh, that's what you spend to make it look that exquisite. Because a good material costs a lot of uh, mm -hmm. money, so they calculate that per square meter. So the government building already is at over eight thousand euro per square meter. <laughs> wow, that's insane money. Yeah, and the thing is, there's not technically much wrong with it. Like, there's not a lot of this that goes into like maintenance. It's just redoing the place in in a way they like more. <laughs> oh, it's just a scheme to get a whole bunch of people richer. That's all it is. What's that nano cell thing you're just talking about? Isn't the old old oh, thing now? Oh, uh, yeah, that's uh, nano LEDs, I think, uh, which are basically. Uh, uh, yeah, so LG has some nano cell TV technology. So does Samsung. <clears throat> so what these are is uh, they're uh, it's it's LCD in a way that is uh, done through. Uh, incredibly tiny uh, LEDs where as an LCD you normally need backlighting right mm -hmm. but these are so tiny uh, that you don't need the backlighting they can be self admissive hmm. uh, meaning that you uh, can control it like an OLED as in you can keep the pure blacks but you do not have the the burn-in uh, situation because they're be actual LEDs yes Hmm. And uh, I mean, there are TVs available, but uh, TVs, they're, they're like, it's super hard to make. So the, the the bigger it is to make, the easier it is at the moment. But so one of the smaller TVs is, I think, 110 inches. And uh, currently it sells for 200 grand. Holy fuck. Yeah, got but a bare looty leather on the back of it. <laughs> no, they're they're like clip-in panels. <laughs> oh, I see. And it's uh, it's it's uh... nano cell is different. 
Yeah, I've got to dig on it a little bit because I've never, I've never even heard of this tech. Let's see what that actually does. But uh, as soon as we get to the actual LEDs, uh, uh, what you call it, that are self-emissive and no longer organic, uh, uh, what you call it, you basically have an OLED TV that will last you as long as the formats last, basically. Hmm. Also, supposedly, there is power uh, savings uh, with that, but it's uh, yeah, it, it's 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 some ways off still. I'm in, I'm interested about this. Like, uh, it's it's an in neat neat tech. I wonder where that goes if it goes to a point where I don't I don't know what the next panel would look like in future like do you think the nano cell will take over it probably if they can get it I mean one of the newer panels from LG with OLED is uh, is is this is it's bloody see through I don't know how I feel about the see-through displays, to be honest with you. Like, there's got to be a polarizer on the end, on the back of it, that turns the screen to black or white or something. Like, give me some fucking background, Cause especially like if you like, this is cool for having like information, like weather and all that shit on the glass, uh, even on the windows. <clears throat> but to have that as a main source of, I guess, entertainment per se or a working TV, I couldn't. Uh... Yeah, that's so weird. I mean, I th I think eventually we'll get to self-emitting LEDs, and then then you get a, a back to the point where like, you know, the original LCD and or even PC monitors they last for fucking ever mm -hmm. in the screen, and which would be nice. Like the current, like OLED is in my eyes, especially by far in a way the best picture quality. However, yeah. you run up to like, it's finite. I mean, uh, I think the reason partially the harmony is the way it is is because of that, and you can change panels so easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not digging the see-through shit. That's just weird to me. I could see that in, uh, I could see that in, uh, like, bathrooms. Over the mirror, where you can actually uh, have news yeah. and shit going on. So Sunny says, nano cell TV applies to about one nanometer sized nanoparticles to an LCD panel that filter out uh, dull colors to enhance. It's the purity of the RGB spectrum. That's a quote from LG. Yeah, that would be nice if you get 100% RGB coverage. I mean, then you get very accurate panels as well. Mm-hmm. Then again, do you need to? Because under like, uh, was it Delta two thousand or three thousand, whatever it's called, you, you you barely see it. Or under the five yeah. to like, I mean, it's to the point like, do we care if speakers sound the most amazing or if they measure the most amazing? <laughs> Well, to me, it's the sound. I don't really give a shit what the paper says, as long as my experience is, yeah. you know, unique, I guess, with it. So that's, to me, it's the same thing. Like I quite honestly, like I see the limitations on the Avant now when it comes to the newer movies and such. Like there is, you know, the processing demands are are far out performing what that can provide, uh, or out demanding what that can provide. But uh, I still love the picture of it. I, you know, I wouldn't sell the TV for the world for now. I don't need. And I'm with Sandeep on, on board with that, you know, like he's got a BB12, which is, to me, it's the fucking best plasma screen that, that not just Panasonic ever made, but BNO ever put out, absolutely, bar none. So, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Sandeep, you can join every Monday or every Sunday for, for all I care. Happy to have well, you, but... <laughs> I mean, you're you're getting voted in by the the uh, by our local CIA resident. 
Yeah, the BB-12 is nice. I still like that panel. It was one of my favorite. <clears throat> like, it was funny because when we first got it, like we had a hundred and eighteen or hundred twenty-three inch uh, projector screen in the theater, and I would prefer to watch movies on a BB-12 on a sixty-five inch because the colors were just way more correct than than uh, than that projector ever could do. Plus, you get the I always found that in the center it was always the brightest spot because you can see the reflection no matter how good the screen was. Like there's always that it's not evenly <clears throat> lit. Yeah, kind of. If you want to do the perfect uh, cinema screen like that, you kind of need three projectors projecting the same thing and they perfectly overlay. And uh, they, they are sort of off, off from where the center is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's a crazy ass setup. That's a crazy ass. Yeah, setup. well, the the the, the cinema said, uh, where are they? That way, <laughs> that, uh, have extra projectors in the cinema now, where it go like the whole movie continues on up on the wall. It's really weird because, like, if you sit in the middle of the cinema uh, and up to like. I want to say five rows from the back. If you do left to right, all you see is screen, basically. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. And it's still like a square box. It's not like IMAX or anything. So how do you film that, I wonder? Super wide lens, I guess? Yeah. And then... uh, Well, also the way uh, I think a lot of cinematography works is that you... You film within the box like that, right? But the actual mm. macro lens is like that big, so you you cut a bunch of stuff out, and then for that sort of projection, you just use the the off cut, so to say, because they're not as sharp as certainly not as sharp as what you see in in the in the picture. Mm-hmm. Well, it's peripheral more or less. Yeah, right? like that's what. The but it is it. kind of weird when like somebody's running through trees and you see trees literally coming. Past sideways you. past you <laughs> like they're not that as sharp be... but then again no are they when you run through a forest <laughs> like you're that looking there you're not experience. like going <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh come here i'll weird. take you there it's uh, they actually have decent popcorn as well <laughs> popcorn is a game changer i haven't had popcorn fuck i haven't been in a movie theater in years not that i really cared to go but it wouldn't be a bad idea to visit I would go to the one that they just built that burnt down or a section of it burnt down day before they opened it they had an electrical fire. Fuck. My mom had like the tickets and all. She's all fucking hard up. I was like, sweet, we're going for a movie. <laughs> she goes and it's fucking burnt. I'm like, what? Yeah, it was in the news. And she's like, oh, that's bullshit. So that, I think, pushed back like four months back to get it all rebuilt inside and whatever. And... uh yeah, they got those D box chairs in the restaurant, so you can actually go and order food and like can eat and watch a movie, which is kind of weird. But uh, it's a good experience, I guess, to be had. I haven't been to a movie theater for a while. What I actually want to do, I want to go fucking uh, hot air ballooning. Okay. I've never been. Like they do it here in the city. Yeah, they do it here all the time as well, but. Uh... What? You scared of the power lines? <laughs> uh, no, the landing process more so. Like the other day, uh, uh, somebody, uh, they landed in a field, right? But as soon as they landed, there was a massive gust which picked them up and it slammed them into a building. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm just going to make sure there's a big girl next to me or something for, you know, pad the impact. <laughs> no gaps. <laughs> no gaps. <laughs> <laughs> can sit there with a, a couple bags of uh, packing peanuts. <laughs> yeah, I want to see the new Top Gun movie as well. But I yeah. think if if it's not, uh, I think they said anyway that if it's an, if enough movies uh, or cinemas were still not open, they would just release it on some sort of streaming platform. Because not in the movies theaters at all? Yeah, because it's been ready for like a year. It was like the the final cut was made in like March last year. Mm-hmm. And then they were like, ooh, we can do it over this 
Summer? Oh no, we can't do shit. That's just yeah. That that industry got really hit. Fucking nightclubs. I feel bad for all the teenagers and shit that like you know turned eighteen and like where you go to Seven Eleven to get a fucking Slurpee because you can't go anywhere. You absolutely can't go anywhere. No, it's, uh, it's and, and like it's to the point where like some of the oldest pubs and nightclubs in the city had closed. Like ranchmans, which I never thought in my life would ever like that, that these people would see demise. Like that place was an iconic establishment for Calgary as far as like the stampede and the cowboys. Like that's where all the fucking stampede cowboys and bronc riders and chuck wagon riders, everybody would hang out in, in that particular bar. Uh, just as a reminder before I say this, we're still on YouTube. But <laughs> uh, today I saw that in Australia, uh, compared to you, you actually have it not too bad. Because in Australia, they're doing no vax, no pay. What do you mean? They can't fucking go to work? No, you don't. just don't get paid. For anything? Yes. You get vaccinated. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> and people fucking agree with it? Like, cool and shit? The average death toll in the last six months was nothing. Literally zero. <laughs> I don't believe that. Yeah, they had like five or six deaths or something in the last six months. <laughs> I don't believe that they had zero deaths in six months. There's no fucking way that... Like, no, well, a... related to this, I mean, all the other stuff we don't care about, obviously. Like, if you shoot yourself in the head, that's fine. Like, uh... <laughs> and and this is what's stupid. Like with those tests, you get tested and fucking you get rear-ended or, or ran over by a car and you die. And if you die within the two months of you getting tested, you basically are marked as you died of COVID. Well, uh, twenty-eight days or so in England. Here, I don't think we do it that way. Then again, I'm not entirely sure. It's it yeah, is I weird. It's two months, which is what the fuck. I mean, uh, yeah. I don't get this whole thing, but that's that's crazy that they do that. And like, I, I I'll be fucking moving out of Australia if they, that's what they're pushing on. Yeah, but you can't go. You're not allowed to go. You can't leave the country. No. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. <laughs> You're literally not allowed to go. <laughs> wow. Like, they, they, they're they running into the problem now where Australians from abroad want to come back and the government is not letting them into their own country. Like, good luck wherever you are. You're not allowed in. That's a little extreme, in my opinion. Oh, yes. <laughs> of course it is. Because, but... what was it, New South Wales, uh, they had six cases, no deaths, so they locked down. And this is what, like, four million people live there. And when that's I mean insanity, like, and, that's and when I mean uh, lockdown, like uh, you can't walk your dog lockdown. <laughs> so what? They shit on the carpet in the house? Yeah. These politicians should be fucking shot, man. That's crazy. That's yeah. absolute. And I, and I can't believe that people are actually taking it. Like I'd be in the fucking streets. Yeah, like well, the, that, once, that, that's crazy shit, man. The problem is, uh, when I moved here, I sold my pitchfork, <laughs> so I have to order a pitchfork on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't. I mean, you can't tar and feather them because that looks too much like tiki torches. <laughs> so you have to do, go with your pitchfork. <laughs> Fucking Christ! Like that, I didn't know that they're they're so uh, extreme over there. Oh yeah, the Aussies love uh, a, a good authoritarian government. But that's insanity, man. To me, it is. I mean, uh, uh, on a similar note, but different. I I was uh, watching the, the, a Formula One uh, talk show here, right? And uh, one of the Dutch presenter commentator dudes, uh, in the last two months, he had two races where he wasn't allowed to enter because he tested positive. 
and obviously he's vaccinated so which is already like huh? and then uh he was tested positive so he can't, couldn't go in he was then tested four more times in the next two days all negative and he still wasn't allowed in and he goes that's a good system right it's like well but you couldn't do your fucking job when you were stuck in a hotel Plus, how does it work? You're positive, and then you have four negatives, and somehow that's yeah, that's good. That's <laughs> even fucking mathematically don't add up to begin yes. with. But the thing and... was, he had that another time, and that's why it was even better because they were consistent. It was like, what the hell? So you have ten tests, two of which are positive, and eight are negative, and but you're positive, and yes. you're fucking vaccinated. Mm -hmm. Which to me doesn't. So, like, to me, that's fucking crazy, because, like, with the stampede here, like, the Knoxville or whatever that stupid fucking Yankee hall is that people go drink pints of beer and fucking fart and eat peanuts, you got to have a proof <laughs> of vaccination. Toilet peanuts. <laughs> you got to have a proof of vaccination or double vaccination uh, that you got at least two weeks ago uh, that you had the last dose uh, and or uh, take their fucking uh, quick pep test and whatever, right? So let's say you go in there and you're vaccinated and for shits and giggles you fucking or, or you've forgotten your paperwork, right? Because like, you know, so or it's more like this now. <laughs> so you forgot your fucking paperwork. So you go, you know, I don't have a paperwork on my fucking phone, whatever. And I, you know, fuck it. I'll take the test. So now you're positive. What the fuck happens to you when you're positive? Do they just like fucking literally roll you in a carpet and fucking into a quarantine in your house or they just send you home or you can just go mill about the motherfucker? Like, I do not understand that. They just no, won't let you we in go, this particular We go spot. Italian on those people for daring to show up in Puglet. Uh, we, we get a bucket, right? You put your feet in the bucket and we put concrete in the bucket <laughs> and we find the nearest river. <laughs> Well, the nearest river is Elbow River, which is literally a fucking a knee deep, so that's not gonna work. <laughs> that's not gonna work. You, need you just to stand some... there in a bucket, like, hey guys, I'm so fuck, <laughs> waiting for the high water to come. Like, so, but no, like it's, it, I just, I do not understand the logic behind any of this, and obviously the fucking people now that like they've lifted the mask laws and everybody that is retarded enough to wear a fucking mask is is basically beyond hope and help and help and, uh, and reason in my opinion uh, well there are some people where you can make like dude may if you're fucking alone outside sure but like if you have i don't know lung emphysema or something like that then i i get that you're wearing a mask but i'm pretty sure that not that many people have that well, that's my point. Like, you know, the teenagers and shit run around with these fucking things on because, like, they think it's cool. But, like, I don't get the people that go into this fucking hipster garden that we have here, right, on the on the, on the, the, the courtyard thing. Eight o'clock in the morning, right? And I walk out, fucking have a coffee. And there's a lady on her own by herself fucking mask on. Are you shitting me? For what? What, are you going to get COVID off your own soil, stupid? Why are you growing <laughs> that shit in there then? <laughs> Maybe there's some special Wuhan kale she's growing or something. <laughs> Wuhan bok choy, fuck. Like, <laughs> come on. It's just, it's so silly. The whole fucking thing makes no sense. Yeah, yeah I'm people... surprised they didn't wear fucking, they didn't make dogs wearing masks and shit. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's it's You know, I can pet your dog and it can lick my face, but God forbid I shake your hand. What the fuck are we doing? Yeah, this animal that licks his own ass <laughs> can lick my face. That's right. <laughs> We're all I okay do. with that. <laughs> but you can't fucking go and shake your friend's hand because you met him. Like, that's just so weird. <laughs> Tigger says maybe she's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All those pocket dogs with the crooked teeth and shit. His tongue sticking out. Well, I, I guess it is, uh, I mean, you, you must say that if, if you think back, you probably haven't seen a mouth breather for like a good solid eight months because it's all hidden. <laughs> like you don't see these people that go. <sighs> no, but you can see that still because they got the mask is way wider. Fuck. <laughs> and then, fucking like a bag just goes in and out. I mean, I, I, I sort of feel the new rule should be if you're a mouth breather, you have to wear one. <laughs> <laughs> God. 
God. I just, I, I, I'm so tired of it all. Yeah, well, we've gone into like a new stupid phase. We had two weeks of freedom. Oh, Where, really? And what, somebody tested fucking positive again? No, uh, everything required an entry exam. So everybody got tested that wanted to do anything. And then they found cases. Meaning, ooh, cases go up. Ooh, we must lock down again. <laughs> I just hate the fucking vicious circle of this nonsense. Like it's it's, and 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 they never correct it for the fact that this isn't fucking nowhere near as lethal as they're talking about. Where in North America, two point six uh, people that died with COVID has at least have at least two point six other comorbidities that they that they go down with, being either fucking stupidly fat, obese, morbidly obese, whatever. The diabetics, the fucking asthma people, the 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 whatever else have you the fucking alzheimer's like you can just name all these different the liver disease the fucking pancreatic cancer all that shit everybody's chalked up yeah, it's about the time that the, the kitty comes to visit but like it's they don't report on any of that and then you got fucking idiot politicians health minister come out here fucking saying that no we have no fucking flu cases ever counted for the 2020 like, because everything you labeled as fucking COVID, you dickheads. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's more or less the same here. It's amazing how singular it all is. It's it's scary how unified. Now. Like, the, the governments, I think, in my opinion now, are synchronized in that bullshit. Uh, other than Russia and China, I guess. Because Chinese don't give a fuck. We just threw it out there. Here's your bio war. Fucking deal with it. And uh, they're doing their thing now, and Russians don't give a fuck. Nor do Floridians and Texans are back on their game. Yeah, so... And here, yeah, <laughs> Alberta is way... I think Alberta is the best out of all the provinces in, uh, in, in Canada, as far as when it comes to, like, the, the, the noble shit tolerance. Yeah, uh, go Texas, go Florida. Uh, Alberta uh, politicians need to get their balls back and be more Texas. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's silly anyway when about... you think like how enormous Alberta mm -hmm. is and how few people live there. Mm -hmm. And I, I bet you most people in Alberta probably can't throw a rock as far enough to hit their neighbor. Not outside the city. Yeah. Like not outside the city, but uh, I I don't know. I'm debating still. Maybe I'll move to states at some point of time in my life. Depends how clampy downy it, it gets here. Uh, if it gets too clampy downy, then I might just fuck off. Uh, yeah, same. Uh, I kind of had it with this stuff. And yes, I understand when people say it's your own risk. Yeah, it is my own risk. <laughs> Yeah, like I don't, I don't get it. Like, especially now, like I, I don't understand the people that are that are scared of people that are non-vaccinated. Like, shouldn't you be the one that I should be the scared of, scared of because you're vaccinated, and I'm not, so I'm still susceptible to it. But you should be immune. Yet you fucking still test positive on this shit. It makes no, it makes no sense to me. Yeah, I just want to go live with the Gators. <laughs> I want to be a I want to be a Florida man. <laughs> Go to Florida. <laughs> Quite honestly, if I were to be, be in between all, would, the, all the fucking crackheads and bats, I would people. open a fucking iguana shooting business. I would love to do that for a living. <laughs> well, and next to it, you own your Berluti leather shop <laughs> with, with a, <laughs> only lizard skin. <laughs> yeah, iguanas. You watch that shit on YouTube? That's hilarious. I can't believe how many there is. And people are so cool with it. Like, buddy fucking walks around with an air rifle and he's like, yeah, you got an iguana on the road, dude, or on the roof. Do you mind if we're... No, no, go ahead. Fucking poof. <laughs> Thing rolls down. They pick it up and move on. Unbelievable. What's going on, Here. Winston? <laughs> he's all staring you down and shit. <laughs> he's like, are you going to give me stuff? <laughs> yeah, it's a it's interesting hobby or a job to have iguana shooting. 
Here you couldn't even go pop in gophers unless it's on somebody's fucking field or a farm because people get all, oh my gosh, you're shooting animals. Uh, well, if, if you want to shoot animals, you should go to Texas and go on one of their hog shoots. Yeah, they got a huge problem with that shit over there. Yeah, it's unreal. I mean, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's... Uh, I, I see people literally, like, there's a group of, like, 80 hogs, and you just go... <laughs> It's messed up, though. I have watched those videos on YouTube, but like to me, it's just messed up how much damage these fucking things do to everything. The I think it's close everything. to a billion dollars a year. Yeah, which is like, uh, don't get me wrong. I like wildlife, and there should be wildlife around. But like, when you you have a hog problem like of this size, it's insane. I mean, because it's not but a bunch of hogs, but it's pigs, to the right. Hogs They're are pigs. feral pigs, yeah. But there's different breeds of them. Like, there is a pig that... No? If you have a domesticated farm pig, and if you let them go in nature, after, like, two or three months, they start gr growing brown hair. Just really? Like, like yes. Like, they become feral. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, they turn literally into the hogs that you see, and they start to stink as well, and all that. Can you do it in back? It's like fucking wolverine. Can you turn them back? <laughs> I don't know if anybody tried. <laughs> I fucking put them in a coop, but I guess at that point, like, they got fucking thing would have to be made of concrete because they'd uproot the fuck out of everything. Like, they can go, what, up to a fucking meter in the ground? Oh, yeah. shit, in the soil? Also, they, get, they I think they can get up to, like, 800 pounds or something. But that thing can really fuck you up if it doesn't like you, which it never does. But, uh, yeah... The helicopter hawk shoots are cool. I watched some of those, especially like the night ops and shit. It's uh, it's pretty, it's pretty slick how these people do it. Uh, DW says I blame the Danish. So do I. I don't know for what, but I blame the Danish. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh, Google is magnificent sometimes. So I do hog wait, and I get Stuart hog. <laughs> <laughs> with the nice shiner on his face fucking a yeah, well he's a rugby player of course he <laughs> rugby players are crazy well uh, less uh, brain damage than American football players really yeah because if you don't wear a helmet you wouldn't dare clash your heads against one another that hurts oh yeah like with, as soon as you wear a helmet, you you, you sort of transfer the hurt from your outer, like uh, skull and whatnot, to your brain. Well, yeah, because you get the concussion shock of it, right? Yeah, I mean, it's not like your brain all of a sudden has like impact protection. I mean, that's still floating loosely uh, in there. Yeah, I was never really a big fan of football, like American football or soccer, for that matter, either don't care for that but yeah it just when i first came to high school here like you know the these fucking tanks of guys like you know kids is like the fuck you know like he's a linebacker like literally fucking sawdust in the head but he was a linebacker got scholarship fucking what whatever right played for the stampeders and shit good for you but i just never understood that sport holy fuck what uh big bill i think in texas Oh, no, or Big Bill may be the hog. Holds the record, record for biggest pig of all time. A whopping 2,552 pounds. Holy fuckballs. Put it up on a screen if you have a picture of it. I think he that. shot it with something that looks like a uh, Barrett Fucking 50. <laughs> Holy fuck, that's like a bull. And yeah, rugby is cauliflower central or cauliflower ear. That's so gross. And so is like the MMA fights. Like, I don't, it's just, whoa. Especially when you see them pop it. Oh, God damn it. Anyways, that's a big fucking pig, dude. You couldn't outrun that. Oh, no, no way. <laughs> no way one shot took that. Probably not. Then again, if you Unless use it... you hit it like in the ear or eyeball, like, and you transfer that entire 
no. hydroshock, if, static shock into the in, into the skull. That mean, would be the easiest entry point that you can render I mean, the piggy. This thing with. probably has a heart the size of your fucking head. So if you perfectly do a heart shot, you'll be okay, especially with something as big as uh, 30-06 or uh, 50 cal. He must have center masted or somewhere because it doesn't yeah. look like it's bleeding out of its fucking head. No. And with the 50, he would have blown a little chunk out of that for sure. I mean, but you never shoot for the head. The, like, I've heard stories of people that did that to, like, moose and whatnot, right? And they, like, nicked the, Instead of, like, getting the skull, they nicked the, the nose. And the then nose. the nose just hangs there and it lives for months like that. And it's like. No, it's fucked up. I, I I don't mind hunting uh, because I mean I eat meat after all, but that's just cruel. Yeah, that's not right. But that to, to shoot that, holy fuck, man! First of all, okay, you shot it, good for you. Now it's there. How the fuck do you bring this back? Obviously, with the freaking tractor. Well, you don't necessarily. Then what do you do? You got it on the spot, I guess. No, you or don't you gut just... it. You leave it be. Like hog meat doesn't taste good. Mm. so they just leave him there what the fuck like I would just bury that shit somewhere man then now you're just getting a fucking coyote problem holy shit look how big that thing is yeah and these aren't even uh, the biggest ever <laughs> wow like you couldn't stop that if they decided to fucking go through your house man you can't stop that no not at all. No chance. I mean, if you need a fucking... <laughs> fucking digger uh, <laughs> or tractor like this to even <laughs> move it oh, around. No. That's insane, dude. I can't <laughs> believe that they can get this big. Well, if... Uh... If you have unlimited uh, food, like in Texas, with the... the... All the, the cornfields and whatnot. Because don't forget, like, some of these Texas farms are, like, a thousand acres, if not more. Like, these these farms are so enormous that if you stand in one corner, you can't see the other. Mm -hmm. Well, you could if the earth was flat, but that's a different discussion. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like uh, the, the story we heard of somebody's co-worker where the Yeti killed some Marines or whatever the fuck it was? <laughs> no, I've never heard that story. Yeah, there was a few weeks ago, somebody in the Twitch chat was telling us uh, about his colleague that believes that some, some was a Yeti or something uh, killed some Marines in Afghanistan or something. <laughs> and he was thoroughly adamant about it. And we were both like, what the Fuck is oh, this? I remember that. I don't fucking remember a Yeti in Afghanistan. Or was it a? Or maybe it was Bigfoot or something like that. I didn't know that those things traveled that far out. Now, <laughs> <laughs> like, what did it jump into one of the fucking C fifty two bombers and snuck out in the woods and started like, okay, now we're going to here. Uh. Let's see. Uh... Tigris is sour about his divorce. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be too, my friend. Don't worry. It takes years. Holy fuck. What? So uh, I, I looked up biggest uh, Texas farm. And... Uh, one, two, Bill Gates. Three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> At number eight is... Is Coconut 06 Ranch and it's uh, 278,000 acres. Holy cow, what does he fucking plant on there or grow on there or whatever? Everything. Uh, and apparently the biggest is King Ranch at 825,000 acres. That's in the States, of course. Yeah, well, this is Texas. Holy fuck. Uh, How do you even patrol that property? Like helicopter, airplane. I guess. 
That's insanity, man. That's a lot of space. That's a lot of land to take care of. Like, can you, like, do you stake that out with fucking fencing? Like, that's, that's millions of dollars in just wood. Well, I guess you got wood in the forest, because I'm sure if you got 800,000 fucking acres. Uh, let me see. That's insane. Yeah, it's no wonder, like, all these YouTube channels that, like, do, a, like, the Demolition Ranch I watch. I think he's yeah. in Texas as well. It's nearly three and a half thousand square kilometers. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> That's like a 10-hour like drive to your other side of the property. <laughs> three and a half thousand kilometers? Square kilometers. Square kilometers. Oh, fuck, it'd be longer than that. Holy fuck. Jesus Christ, no wonder you need airplanes and or helicopters and that sort of shit. You probably need five houses because halfway through you need a rest and to sleep for the night. Fucking refuel, for Christ's sakes. Like, there's no way you can fly a chopper around the perimeter of that fucking place. And that's crazy. I don't think that's true that there's more tiger skepsis pets in Texas as there in a, a there is. free in the world. That's is true. That, yeah. That's insane. There's about uh, 5,000 uh, wild tigers in the wild, and uh, there's about 10, 12,000 in Texas. You can buy a fucking tiger? Yeah. Just... There's no law against it. How the fuck does that thing not eat your ass? Like, uh, you, you train it. It's a big cat, after all. If you feed it, it won't eat you. Gunther in the coffee shop and Friends. I never watched Friends. So, uh, I'm just looking it up. And that, uh, that, that one farm in Texas is about 10% of this country. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> That's insane. No, it, like in Texas, seriously, like uh, there is no law against it. Therefore, it's legal. Like somebody actually looked this up and it was like, can I have a tiger? Well, Guess no. So. Is, like, is there a le law against it? No. Then what's stopping me? Okay. <laughs> But that's just insane. I mean, was it was... Houston two, three weeks ago? There was like a whole neighborhood shut down because somebody lost his tiger. And the tiger is just running around in the neighborhood. So they're not that friendly, though. They'll still fuck you up, I guess. Well, it was scared. It was scared. Any animal that's scared will fuck you up. But I don't think it was a fawn tiger. I think it was like a leopard or a puma or something but oh. off the ground it was like yay high it was like four feet tall off the ground how much is a fucking tiger like well would you full grown or cub cub i don't want a full grown tiger because i don't want to be his fucking first meal uh 1500 bucks or so really yeah wow oh it was a tiger actually it was a tiger Fucking hell, man. I'm blown away. Really? Yeah. Move to fucking Texas. Give me a tiger. <laughs> Walk it on like a dainty leash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, call it Billy. Because, well, fuck, like, the leash would make any difference. If that thing decides I'm fucking going, dude, you are now just an appendage at that point on it. On it. Like, you're not going to stop this fucking toothy, clawy horse. Like, first of all, second of all, it just needs to turn around, smack you the fuck out, and that's it. You're over. Yeah. But that would be something interesting to have a tiger. Just, like, I don't understand where, like, people, that's a house pet now, hey? Like, where do you keep that? Like, you got to have a big house for the tiger to have. You can't just, like, Live here cramming with the fucking tiger, man. Share a bed. Yeah, you need no, to. No, watch... I'm not gonna watch Tiger King. I've I've kind of seen it, and it's just literally it is not for my stomach at all. 
it is uh, hurting me on the intellectual level when I watch this kind of shit. Like, <laughs> that really gives me headaches, though. <laughs> Brandon's buying a tiger right on, bud. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I think in Oklahoma you can also have tigers. Uh, there's quite a lot of states where you can have a tiger if you want to. Like, That's insane. I mean, I think you can also have rhinos and stuff like that. I don't know if I would go with that. <laughs> that eats a lot of grass, right? So you know, you're yeah. a huge thing. See ya, Brendan. Have a good one. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know. Plus, like you know, it'll fuck up your pool because it's gonna be in there. Oh, that's a, that's a hippo. Never mind. But those things also roll in mud and shit too, right? I'm certain of it. Like all these things are cool when they're well, like cute and, and small, but like the cute rhino is the uh, size of a fucking pony. Uh, yeah. Well, rhinos are like 1,200 kilos or something full grown. Yeah, and if it decides to fucking Donkey Kong chase you, then you're sh you're screwed. Yeah, they, I think they can run up to like 45 kilometers an hour. Yeah. I mean, and not for... Barrel, and a wood barrel won't stop it. It'll just piss it off. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, uh... Texas is a wild place, but that's why I love it. <laughs> Though it is, a, yeah, they are territorial. Rhinos are fucking crazy territorial. But uh, uh, I don't know. Like, I, it, yeah, moving to Texas, it's just fucking hot in there, though. A, a, a normal black rhino uh, can run up to 55 kilometers an hour. Oh, God. Yeah. It's like you're having a fucking hard time on a bicycle. Uh, if you go really, really quickly on a bicycle, you're doing 35. It'll just right? go like, D -d 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 -ah, bye. <laughs> Fucking grab its tail, pull me, bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, people cycle here all the time, right? Like, and I, I mean, like, you're getting down, like, in gear and going, like, <sighs> and, and yeah. if you're doing your, like, if you're even, like, semi pro, you're maybe going 40. <laughs> Really? Yeah. So a rhino will just chase you down on a bike. <laughs> wow, that's insane. Yeah, that's not pets that I'm interested in having house pets. Like, the tiger would be fucking cool. Nobody fucks with you when you have a tiger, I guess. Yeah, look at that. That just looks menacing. Fuck. I mean, that's... Two and a half tons <laughs> of muscle sprinting towards you, and it can get itself off the ground. <laughs> yeah, like if that starts chasing you, you might as well just give it up because you're gonna die fucking tired, and he's gonna be pissed off that he had to run after you. <laughs> yeah. Like hippos are possibly. Hippos worse. are vicious as hell, man. Yeah, they're also cannibalistic. Really? Yeah, they, I didn't know that. If one dies and it's uh, fairly fat and whatnot, the rest will start eating it. That's insane. Yeah, they they they're mostly vegetarians, but if they can get a bite of meat, they will. Hmm. I mean, it's more so that they're kind of lazy to get uh, <laughs> to to get meat. They'd rather just sort of float around, do nothing. Yeah, they're cute, but dude, when that thing pisses off, it's not cool at all. I, don't, I mean, that, I don't. that they're carnivorous uh, or even cannibalistic uh, was only discovered like four or five years ago in one of these uh, fucking BBC nature documentaries where they were sitting near one of these puddles with night, like super high tech night vision. Because for the longest time when one died, they thought they had some sort of burial ritual. Uh, because they would all sort of congregate around mm. and they do sort of pushing and this and that and yada, yada, yada. Well, they zoomed in and they finally found out they were just taking, like, oh, <laughs> let me have some of you. I'm eating you now. <laughs> That's fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's crazy. I don't know. It's It's insane. Yeah, hippos are fucking crazy. They're nuts. They 
fucking aggressive as well. Also, their teeth are yeah. uh, their teeth are so hard they're bulletproof. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. Like it's one of the that. hardest materials uh, that that's like naturally made uh, in like living beings. Wow. That's insane. Well, might as well call it on that note because I got like seven missed calls from my clients. I just looked. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to get some stuff done. And um, yeah, Let's see where it all goes. Yeah, uh, this was your uh, weekly Monday YouTube uh, live thing. Uh, Twitch, thank you for being here. Uh, Tigris, thank you for informing uh, on the CIA for us. <laughs> <laughs> with your voting we'll, shenanigans <laughs> that's right and we'll be back on sunday as per usual yeah and uh Maybe we'll have a third person with us i don't know if somebody wants to join in uh sandeep should join yeah we should definitely get the uh get that guy in yeah the, uh alliance if you're house. listening uh Come on, uh, t l talk to Willie about how you do it. I don't care if you even wear a disguise or if you just want to show an avatar. That's fine, too. Wear a fucking Daft Punk helmet for all I give a shit, but I just want to talk to you about, like, how did you get it done? Yeah, yeah or use a... <sighs> use a Darth Vader mask. Yeah. I, I don't care. <laughs> just do but, it. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's something that I'm interested in. But yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, have a good one, everybody. Uh, no outro, and uh, see you all Sunday. You bye. bye. <laughs>